it's not for the faint of heart to listen to spooky ghost stories. But for those of you who can't get enough of Halloween movies and anything having to do with witches or vampires, we have some chilling stories from all over the United States to share with you. You might be lucky enough for one of them to take place close to your home, which would certainly increase the level of spookiness. But if that isn't the case, you might want to consider taking a trip to one of these creepy abandoned towns. There have been reports, even by John Lennon, of the crying lady in the Dakota, which is a well-known apartment building in New York City. These reports come from the East Coast. Huggin' Molly is a ghost who is said to haunt the town of Abbeville, Alabama. She is known to pursue and embrace residents of the town. Over in Eureka Springs, Arkansas, the Crescent Hotel is said to be haunted by a number of ghosts, and down in St. Francisville, Louisiana, a ghost named Chloe is said to be able to be seen in the Myrtles Plantation. Both of these locations are in the United States. Keep watching to see these terrifying ghost stories. Number 7. The Sarency House Ghost, Sarency, Georgia. In the 1870s, members of the Sarency family in what is now the city of Sarency, Georgia, began reporting encounters with the supernatural. Members of the family reported seeing objects fly across rooms, hearing laughter and crying, and seeing red eyes staring into the house. They also saw red eyes staring into the house. The food was flung from their plates, and the utensils were twisted into shapes that rendered them useless. The citizens of the town hypothesis that the occurrences were the spirits' attempts to communicate with the family because they believed the human beings could help them. It is said that on the day that the family decided to leave the house for good. Number 6. The Ghost of Bellamy Bridge, Mariana, Florida. Traveling over this haunted bridge in Mariana, Florida, which is said to have a number of ghost stories surrounding the structure, is a great way to get a taste of true haunting love. In the 1830s, Elizabeth Jane Croom Bellamy tied the knot with Dr. Samuel C. Bellamy, a prominent politician in the community. On the night of their wedding, her dress caught fire, which resulted in the young bride receiving terrible burns all over her body. She was able to survive for a while, but she ultimately passed away. It was said that Elizabeth's love for her husband was so intense that she was unable to find peace in death, and that she was laid to rest on the banks of the Chipola River. From the vantage point of the bridge, the ghost of the recently married couple, who died together, is said to be seen walking along the banks of the river, which was built after she died. Number 5. Sloss Furnaces, Birmingham, Alabama. Birmingham, Alabama, was established in 1865, which was five years after the end of the Civil War. Sloss Furnaces were initially conceived of by Colonel James Withers Sloss in 1871 in response to the growing demand for tons of pig iron to be used in the rebuilding of the United States' deteriorating infrastructure. According to the company's official website, one year later, the business started hiring hundreds of people for various positions. Work on blast furnaces was highly skilled but also extremely dangerous. As a result, many workers began to perish after being crushed or burned to death inside the furnaces. According to Reader's Digest, by the early 1900s, conditions had deteriorated and a cruel foreman named James Slag Wormwood was in charge. Wormwood would take dangerous risks in order to increase production. During his time as CEO of Sloss, the company was responsible for the tragic deaths of nearly half of its employees and the injuries of many more. In 1906, it is alleged that his co-workers took revenge on him by throwing him into a furnace. Number 4. The woman who was seen weeping in the Dakota, the Big Apple, New York. Since it first opened its doors in 1884, the Dakota apartment building in New York City has been home to a large number of wealthy and well-known locals. In 1973, John Lennon and Yoko Ono were among those who made the neighborhood their new home. In 1980, John was also killed outside of the building when he was shot. Before the unfortunate event that occurred on December 8, however, John stated that he had afterwards. Yoko, who still resides there, claimed that she saw John's ghost sitting at his piano and that he told her to don't be afraid. I will never leave your side. Number 3. Three Stories of the Bell Witch, Adams, Tennessee. If you are a fan of scary movies, you may already be familiar with the legend of the Bell Witch. The narrative served as the inspiration for both the film An American Haunting and the film The Blair Witch Project. 
a man named John Bell relocated his family to what was then known as the Red River region of Tennessee, which is now the location of Adams, Tennessee. This event took place in the early 1800s. Strange occurrences started taking place shortly after they had made themselves at home in their new house. The Bell family started to become aware of some peculiar sounds, such as dogs yapping, chains rattling, rats gnawing, and a woman hushing. Soon after, that woman became known as the Bell Witch, and many people believe that she is the specter of Kate Batts, who had formerly lived in the house next door to the Bell family. Number 2. Eureka Springs, Arkansas. You can spend the night in the Crescent Hotel, which first opened its doors in 1886 and is located in Eureka Springs, Arkansas. A worker by the name of Michael was tragically killed while the building was being constructed, and some claim that his ghost can still be seen in room 218. In 1937, a man named Norman Baker, who fancied himself to be a doctor but was actually a fraud in the medical field, purchased the hotel. He transformed the building into the Baker Cancer Hospital and asserted that he possessed the antidote to the disease. He did not, obviously. Patients who passed away while in his care were cremated or buried right in the basement of the hotel, which functioned as an impromptu mortuary. Number 1. Abbeville, Alabama's Five Hugging Molly. If you want to avoid hugging Molly's icy embrace after the sun goes down in Abbeville, Alabama, it is in your best interest to remain inside your home at that time. According to the urban legend, beginning in the early 1900s, a large figure dressed in all black began prowling the streets at night in search of people who were unaware that they were being watched. When she has someone in her sights, she immediately grabs them in a bear hug and yells very loudly into their ears. A great number of people have related tales of being pursued by an individual or entity that they believe to be hugging Molly. Even the parents of the area's children have resorted to using the story as a disciplinary tool for their children. The town is very proud to be known as the home of Huggin' Molly, which is the name given to its nighttime warden. There's even a restaurant in her honor that welcomes children and is geared toward families. So what do you think of these ghost stories? Share with us your feedback in the comments section below. And subscribe us now.